Hey guys, I'm Sebastian. I'm Christine. We are Ninth Island Connection. Welcome to our channel. If this is your first time, we are a lifestyle television show all about Vegas. All right, and if you can tell behind us, we are in Vegas and we are actually staying for two nights at the Flamingo, one of our favorite places. And now it's not our favorite because it's not like the rooms are beautiful and it's not luxurious or anything like that. It's just fun. We mm -hmm. always have a fun time at the Flamingo. It's a, it's a perfect lo location, especially for the rate. I mean, you are in the heart of the action. It's an iconic property. It's massive. There's so much to do here. It's one of our, definitely one of our go-tos. In this video, we are going to bring you along on our two night staycation here at the Flamingo. And during that time, we're gonna be gambling here, eating here, drinking here, and of course, exploring the other properties nearby because like Sebastian said, mm -hmm. it's a great location. There's so many other close walkable properties. All right, well, let's get started on this staycation. Cheers, guys. We stayed in room 24026 in the spa tower. Here's a quick look at our room. For more information on the rooms at Flamingo, check out our playlist of room tours that we've done there. We always seem to get this view and we love it. First stop, Horseshoe. First machine that we've played. Put twenty dollars in this machine, and here's where we are. Your friendly reminder: don't forget to swipe. We used up the free play at Horseshoe, and then headed on over across the street to the Cromwell. The Cromwell is a really nice property, and the reason we always go there is that machine right there, the Buffalo Grand. Now these seem to be disappearing on the Las Vegas Strip within the Caesars properties. Not sure why, but we have to play them when we can find them. Take this over the minor. I was hoping to maybe get the minor, but this is a little bit better. <laughs> Thanks, Cromwell. We came in for a 17 cent slip. I had a 17 cent slip that I saved that I wanted to cash out and use at the Cromwell because I saved all my slips, turned it into this. After gambling at the Cromwell, we headed back over to Home Sweet Flamingo. Next, we headed over to Carlos and Charlie's. This is one of our favorite spots. They also have a true two for one drink deal.
Now I'm sorry, but I have to call out Sebastian on eating his nachos with a knife and a fork. Oh my goodness. Now this is how you eat nachos. I had to go back upstairs, grab my good luck charm, and best friend Carlos to go do some gambling. Of course, when you're staying at the Flamingo, you always have to check out the Flamingos at the Flamingo Habitat. We did notice that there's a Cuban restaurant coming to this big area here that's been empty for a long time. The buffet, still nothing. We weren't really having any luck over at the Flamingo, so we decided to check out Harrah's and try our luck there. It's also always fun to check out the karaoke. After Harrah's, we headed over to the link to try our luck there. After doing some gambling, we took a little break and checked out one of our favorite areas, the Link Promenade, and it was really busy. The nice thing about the Link Promenade is that in the summers, they have misters to kind of cool it off a little bit. And in the winter months, they actually have heaters. And then back to where we started, the Flamingo. getting ready to head out to see the fireworks because mm -hmm. it's fourth of july i don't know if you can see my rocky t-shirt if you know you know i have a tiger baby yeah that's staying in that's cut <laughs> can you back up at least you can just stay in a spot it's okay it's all right guys so we're gonna go see the fireworks across the street at Caesar's Palace. So it's been a fun day. We checked in. It's so hot here in Vegas and we didn't get here in time to really get to the pool at a decent time. So we just kind of stayed inside and went to different casinos. So, I mean, it was nice to just kind of check out the different casinos. Um, Sebastian had some free play. He had some alleged free play that just didn't happen. It was but, the wrong property. It's not my fault. But it All of that was horseshoe. But it, you know, it was a win for us. I mean, we're definitely up a few hundred dollars. So that's always a nice thing when you're in Vegas. We are in Vegas on 4th of July and we are in the room and Sebastian can't leave because it's the end of one of the Star Wars? A lot of you will get it and understand. And we still have 25 minutes left before the fireworks, and the fireworks are right outside of the casino. So, I mean, come on. It's Star Wars. Then we headed downstairs to check out the fireworks. We were actually thrilled that we were able to find the old moolah machines that we thought they got rid of. 
These are in that little corridor between Flamingo and the Bird Bar. And one of the things we love the most about Flamingo is the Bird Bar. If you know, you know. But this is like the best people watching spot on Las Vegas Boulevard. We always tell ourselves that we're not going to do this and we still do it. Had to make a stop over at Pizza Cake for that late night pizza. Clearly it was time for us to head back to the room For breakfast, we headed over to Cheo. Now this is one of the later breakfasts. They have it until about 1 p.m. Of course, after breakfast, Sebastian had to do the live. We go live every Wednesday between noon and one Pacific Standard Time. We also noticed that there's another new store over at Flamingo. All right, guys, it's day two here in Vegas, um, and it's been a busy morning. Um, we've had some work stuff we had to get done. We had breakfast at Chao, which was a little annoying, but... They're busy. Yeah. So, so if you're going to be in town, uh, Vegas is back. Vegas is surpassing... Um, 2019 numbers as far as visitors and maybe that's due to international travel opening up more um, and just more more people or maybe more people throughout the continental US are just staying local rather than traveling overseas and coming to Vegas um, but it's busy it's very busy and that's very because busy. it's I mean it is fourth of July um, was yesterday and we typically come to the strip on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, because those are the slower days, but yeah. not when there's a holiday and not really even in summer anymore. So it's like Sebastian always says, pack your patience. It will you take you a little bit longer um, for service. It's gonna take longer to get your food. Like the restaurant that we went to, Cheo, um, every table was full. Every table was full in there. So these guys are doing the best that they can. You know, the food was great. Um, it tasted, we go there often because it, it is good food. We enjoy um, their the menu. Breakfast. Yeah, yeah the their breakfast, breakfast menu. Yeah. We enjoy it. Um, you know, but you just, you just have to be prepared to wait. And that's going to be with everything here in town. Yeah, it's really busy. Yesterday, I mean, it was crazy busy. Today, it looks like nobody left. <laughs> so it's busy again today. But our game plan for today is to definitely get down to the pool and check it out. Um, and then probably just wander around, do some gambling, see what's going on here um, at the Flamingo as well as the surrounding properties. Cause again, it's the best location on the strip. You're right there in all the action. Yep. So let's go. Both pools at the Flamingo were really busy, but it was still a fun time. Be sure to check out the video that we did on the pros and cons of the Flamingo pool. After the day at the pool, we decided to head upstairs, get ourselves together, and head on over to Caesars. It's actually pretty sad to see that they got rid of all of the Buffalo Grands. Those things are gone. Wonder why they're doing that. But we did still find our favorite moolah.
After Caesar's Palace, we decided to head back on over to the Link Promenade to find something to snack on. We headed on over to Favorite, not for a big meal, but really for their happy hour. It's a great spot, great atmosphere, the service is fantastic, and they have a decent happy hour menu. Of course, we got chicken wings and chips and guacamole, which is a pretty good portion of guacamole and lots of chips. We also got the spinach dip, which, yes, is under all of those chips. We noticed that American has added karaoke. We're trying our luck at the lake. After gambling at the link, we headed over to Harrah's. And then we headed back upstairs to chill for a bit. All right, guys, checking in. This is now night of day two, night two. Night two. <laughs> Night two. Um, it's been an awesome day. So we had a nice time at the pool. It was so busy at the pool. We thought, okay, well maybe we'll try the family pool because it's a Someone little less a little bit upstairs busy, from yeah. the girl pool. And it was so cool. Uh, I was uh, like, I am not even putting my toes in that water. Uh, so we went over to the party pool, the go pool, and yeah. just hung out there for a bucket of high noons and then called it called it a day. I mean, it was busy, but people were having a great time and that's what we love seeing. Um, but again, like I've said before in this video, we are not used to being in Vegas when it's so Vegasy, when it's so busy. We try to come on like the slower days. And again, nothing against that. Like Christine said, everybody was having their best time ever. The DJ was like, oh, it's such and such's birthday. It's an anniversary. It's Divorce all, party. Yeah, divorce party was going on. <laughs> Anything goes in Vegas. All of these different things were going on and everybody was having the best time. But it was like shoulder to shoulder like that, which, may, are we getting old? We're old. Yeah, we, we got there. I think maybe we just, <laughs> we're at that age where it's just kind of like, it wasn't our speed. Everybody was having the best time. We were looking to chill. But you know what? That's why people go to the Flamingo Pool. Yeah. It's a party pool. There's DJs, they have live performances. That's what it's all about. And we are going to head out and yeah. do some gambling and just kind of see where the night takes us. I did catch a little power nap. He did, again. <laughs> I'm old. Hey, I, I spent an hour and a half at the pool. It was 110 degrees easily. Yeah. Drank some beers, yeah. did some walking. I needed a nap. All right, come on, Grandpa, let's go out. <laughs> See you guys. We've been getting a lot of free spin bonuses today that haven't paid anything at all. Like, like you get three bucks, a couple bucks here and there, but we've been getting so many free spin bonuses today, but not winning anything, so let's see. 
So we wound up winning $9.70, which is fine. It's fine. It's all fun. I always say whenever you come to Vegas, when people ask, how much money should I bring? Bring as much as you can afford to lose. In this situation, we wound up winning $4.95. Fine. And we had fun. Perfectly fine. After gambling, we headed out to our favorite people watching spot, the Bird Bar. It does cool off a little at night to give some relief from the heat, so this is an awesome spot to sit outdoors. Even Carlos loves the bird bar. When Sebastian started busting out his moves, we decided that it was definitely time that we needed to have a late night snack. We checked out the food court at the Flamingo and noticed the sign and the prices for Johnny Rockets. Oh my goodness, so expensive. I know it's Vegas, but seriously, these are outrageous prices for fast food. I would never pay this for fast food. So we headed on over to one of our favorites down the Link Promenade, In and Out. And it was delicious as always. Well, inside scoop, In and Out in the Link Promenade is open till 1 a.m. But get there before 1 a.m. because it's gonna be crowded. Double Double Animal Style is how I roll. Sebastian swiped in in the morning, he saw that he had a $25 dining credit, so of course we couldn't let that go to waste, so we grabbed a breakfast sandwich and a cookie to go. All right, it's that time guys, it's checkout time. We had an awesome two day staycation here at the Flamingo. Um, as we've said many times throughout this video, it's one of our absolute favorite places to stay because of its location. Which, I mean, for the rate, it's actually really decent. I mean, this is like one of the best values down here. Um, the location, the rate, the energy, uh, the rooms are old, sure, but it's an old property. And but they're the oldest in our experience. I mean, they're clean. Um, you have a refrigerator, comfortable, spacious. Um, you know, so I, I have no complaints about staying at Flamingo. Yeah, and we love to stay typically in the spa tower, which is the one that is closest to the parking the parking yeah and that's why we don't want to drag our stuff all the way through the casino and it's more convenient for this guy to get outside yeah. to the dog relief area right um one thing i do want to say with the rooms because they're old a lot of times the doors don't close automatically so if you're leaving your room or coming into your room make sure you just double check that it actually is securely shut and as far as the amenities here um there's limited dining at the Flamingo, but again, you're right next to the Link Promenade. That's just a bonus of staying at the Flamingo. Then of course, another fun thing about staying at the Flamingo is the pool, um, depending on who you are though. Um, the pool mm -hmm. is, the Go Pool is known as a party pool. Yeah. Yeah. So. There's a DJ, live music. Uh, they do have live acts there from time to time. Also, they've got a big stage 
it's loud mm -hmm. and people are partying. But that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking for a chill Vegas pool. Flamingo is not the no. pool for you. Even the family pool area, it gets a little busy. Uh, we did walk through there and you could see some people that were kind of annoyed because kids were splashing and all that. Kids are being kids at a family pool, so that's to be expected. Overall, it was a great staycation here. We love staying at the Flamingo. We stay here probably, this is probably the pro property on the strip that we've stayed at the most. Yes. And it's just, it's, a, it's always a fun time. This is a place though, just keep in mind, this is just a, a great budget friendly, great location on the strip. Um, no frills, nothing like that. Um, so if you're looking for that, the Flamingo is not for you. But if you're looking for a place where you just want a decent room, doesn't have to be anything fancy, and you wanna be right there in the action, the Flamingo is definitely for you. All right guys, that's a wrap. We wanna hear from you guys as always. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our okay. channel. We appreciate you guys um, so much. Thank you again. Check us out on social media, um, or on TikTok, um, Instagram, you know, all the normal places. We are Ninth Island Connection. And check the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. And most importantly, we want to hear from you guys. What are you guys' thoughts on staying at the Flamingo down here on the Las Vegas Strip? Share your comments um, with everybody below. We appreciate it. It's, it's definitely time to get this guy home. <laughs> Thanks, guys. hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.